hi everyone welcome to my channel hope you are doing well if you're new welcome and if you're revisiting thanks for stopping by again so today i wanted to try out the new l'oreal infallible fresh wear 24 hour foundation it looks like this so this foundation came out in the uk i want to say late last year i feel like it came out much later in the us because when i first started seeing um, american youtubers review this foundation they were talking about how it was new and then they, they, that they'd only just seen it and by then i'm pretty sure it was already out here probably for two months or so because i saw one of my one of the youtubers that i subscribed to um she's a relatively smaller youtuber i'll put her name up somewhere or maybe in, in the description box um she reviewed this i'm pretty sure around september october time or possibly november definitely before Christmas and I wasn't really too fussed about this foundation to be honest but since everyone's talking about it and apparently it's so so good um yeah so I thought I would try it out one the only reason I didn't want to try it out before was because it reminded me of the um what do you call it the true match that's it and the true match foundation and yeah so I just thought maybe it was like a slightly altered formula or something but Tati tried this and she really really loved it and um, it really looked it looked really good on her skin. A couple of other people have tried this as well and they really like it so I definitely want to try it. So my skin is um, normal in the perimeter and just oily in the t-zone so my face, my face, my nose and just like my brows um, and a little bit of the center of my forehead is oily and the rest of my face is fine. And I tend to have issues with foundations sinking into my smile lines. Um, but apart from that, I don't really have like any major issues well, apart from what you can see, which is just old acne scars that have dried up and I'm just waiting for them to heal. Um, yes, I'm just waiting for them to fade. I don't actually have um, active acne at the moment. These are just scars. So this foundation, I will just, um, I'll put the claims up. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put the claims up on the screen. It's meant to be 24 hours. Uh, it's meant to be a 24 hour foundation, as the, as the description says. And um, it has new oxygen technology. So there are 20, 26 shades of this. I think there are 24 shades of the concealer. The 26 shades, it comes in a glass bottle, it looks like a really really nice solid pump and um, what else was I going to say, yeah so, oh and when I bought it, I bought it on, from Boots and they were doing a 3 for 2 so um, luckily I didn't have to pay full price for this foundation or the concealer. So the foundation I think at Boots retails for $12.99 or $10.99, no I want to say $10.99 and the concealer retails for $9.99 so um, I'll show you the concealer. So I got two shades and I feel like I should have gone one down further than this because um, I got them online. So the shades I got are Toffee 336 and Honey 338. The foundation shade I have is 330 which is Hazelnut or Noisette and it's a little bit light so that's the only problem. It looks like it would be the perfect, um, the perfect skin shade match for me but it isn't i actually went into store today and i saw my perfect shade and that is actually copper so that's the next shade after this but i'm just going to make this work anyway and also um when i bought the three um i got uh so when i got the three i got a l'oreal multi mask play kit which i actually wanted to try a while back when they first came out so it's really good that they threw this in for free so i get to try this later on so I'm going to try one side of my face with a brush and one side with a sponge. This is a sponge I found at Poundland just the other day. I haven't used it yet. It's got a bit of a um, give to it. but So I have already wet it before just to see what it feels like once it's wet. And it's actually quite soft. I mean, it's not as soft as my Real Techniques. Um, I was debating whether or not to use this. Um, Actually, they kind of have this, a similar amount of give, but I know the Real Techniques sponge gets softer when it's wet. This does as well, and this also expands. The only thing is it's still not as soft as the Real Techniques. It's slightly firmer, but it is definitely usable. So I'm just going to wet it now. I feel like it's definitely expanded. Oh, I feel like it's definitely expanded. This is what it looks like now. 
it's got some give to it and I feel like it's holding water in its core which is why there's still a bit of hardness in its core but it's soft enough to use so I definitely yeah I feel like I could use this but it's definitely not like the softest sponge bearing in mind this is only a pound and this is from Poundland I just like the colouring of it it reminds me of the Sonia Castro sponges that they have in the US which I don't think we can get here so yeah um, on to the foundation so I know this foundation shade is not a perfect match for me so I think I might have to contour today um, so I'm going to use one pump just so you can see what it looks like so it's quite runny and it's meant to be medium to full and very buildable. I've already moisturized and um, applied my primer and the primer I normally use is my W7 Prime Magic because it's a silicone based primer. So I've added two more pumps. As the name suggests, it does have a very fresh scent to it. It's not overpowering at all. It smells almost like skincare. Let me just zoom you in a bit so you can see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And the copper shade is definitely a lot more warmer and richer. So... That's definitely going to be a better match for me. And I'm going to try... two and a half pumps on this side. I'm on like my third, third or almost fourth pump now. As you can see, it looks like it's more of a light to medium coverage for me rather than medium cup, medium full. Um, and I have a feeling it might not be like you'd have to use a lot so that's you know what it looks like with the sponge but you'd have to use a lot to get that full coverage because it's so watery <sighs> okay so this is what it looks like with the sponge i feel like i've had to use a lot of foundation to get this level of coverage so i'll definitely want to apply the foundation with my brush and then maybe go over it with the a sponge but in terms of the finish i really really like it it's very skin like you can see there's a little bit of dewiness but it isn't like full-on like oily um it definitely isn't matte it's more of a it's more of a maybe like a satin finish yeah it's definitely that so onto the concealers so like I said I got the shade toffee and honey toffee is actually very light and I want to say that these concealers look like I don't want to say that they're a bit on the I don't know like olivey slash gray I don't know they're not like yellow or warm like do you see what I mean it looks a little bit on the grey brown side and I just hope it comes out better than what it looks like. But yeah, in terms of the concealer, the reason I was actually quite excited about the concealer was the amount of product that you get. So I think you get, so you get, is it 10 mLs of product in here? 
11 ml of product for 9.99 and just comparing that to like other concealers usually you get anything from like say 4 ml to about 7.5 you get 10 ml for 9 pounds 99 um yeah so that's what i wanted to highlight i think they're meant to be like a matte finish and the concealer is meant to be full coverage So I'm applying honey. Oh, by the way, they have a giant doe foot as well. But the doe foot feels quite hard, I want to say. It's not like a soft, comfortable... Well, it is comfortable, but it's definitely a firm doe foot. But I appreciate the fact that it's quite big. Just zoom you in. Okay, so as you can see, it's definitely brightening. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of toffee. It is definitely like a medium to full. It's a medium to full coverage. So it's settling into my lines just a little bit, but it's not like terrible. I'm gonna see if I can cover this really dark waxing scar. Um, let's see how that goes. It has more or less covered it. But, oh, it's peeking through again. I'm not going to apply it anymore, but it's definitely a medium to full. But that scar is quite dark. So I'm going to zoom back out. And then set my under eyes. Oh, I need to contour. So I'm going to go on tour with my Primark, my Perfect Color Moisturizer Foundation Stick and it's in the shade Rich Espresso. Okay, so I just need to smooth out the creases again. And then I'm going to set it with my MUA um, correcting powder in the shade yellow. Okay, so I'm going to go over the foundation with my Ellie Girl Pro Face Powder in Warm Caramel. Next I'm gonna next I'm gonna powder contour with my Profusion Contour palette. So next I'm going to apply some blush, my sleek blush, and I'm using the shade Pea Pie, and this is the Pumpkin Blush Trio. Then I'm going to use my sleek Copper Plate Palette, I'm going to use these two shades.
Then I'm going to use these two shades um, down the bridge of my nose. And lightly on my forehead. Then I'm going to use a fan brush and take this shade over here. I'm also taking the same shade in my inner corner. Next I'm going to apply my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Okay, so this is my finished face and I have to say my face looks so flawless as in, in terms of the finish of the foundation or my complexion, it looks flawless. It looks like I've actually set it and I haven't. And there was another claim to this foundation which I actually forgot, um, which is that it is transfer proof. So I, I haven't, the only thing I've, the only powder I have put on my face is my Lego Matte Powder. So I'm just going to press this tissue against like my jawline where I know there's nothing on here so as you oh if you if you don't know with these um foundation um, that have a claim of being transfer proof that claim is only true before your oils um, start creeping in so as long as your foundation stays matte your foundation will will stay transfer proof so yeah um, it definitely is transfer proof it feels my face feels good and it's very light um, yeah I really really I really really like the finish of this foundation um, I finished my lips with my NYX um, lip liner pencil in hot cocoa and my the balm meet matte hues liquid lipstick in the shade Adore, um, in the shade Adoring and it's more of like a brownie red it's really nice and wintry I actually almost forgot I had it it was like in the back of my lipstick drawer but yeah so I really really like this shade and I think am I gonna set it oh yes there was one thing I wanted to try if you've watched any of my foundation videos you would see you would have seen that I always give props to my Cotier Spawn powder. Um, it saves every single foundation I have and it makes it last all day. This powder turns a horrible foundation into a really, really nice one. So what I'm gonna do is actually um, set half my face with this. Um, I've already set my face, the whole of my face with my LA Girl Matte Powder. But I'm gonna do my the side eye applied with a brush. I am just lightly setting my face. So let's see if this side gets any more oily than this side. So I'm going to set my small lines. Oopsie. And I'm just brushing it away. And then I'll set my whole face. So I'm just going to use my Revolution Sports Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom into my eye area so you can see what I'm seeing. As you can see, the concealer is setting into the creases in my under eye area. But that's okay, so as long as it doesn't crack, um, I'm okay with that. So this is what my face looks like.
So I feel like I could have blended it into my jaw, but I'm not going anywhere, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. So um, the time, oh, where, so the time, right? So it's quite late today, so this isn't gonna be a full wear test. I'm gonna try this whole foundation routine again tomorrow, and then I will film, I'll show you what it looks like by the end of the day, and that will be a 12 hour wear test. So the time when I finished applying the foundation was 5.20, and um, it's now six o'clock, so I've had to do one or two other things around the house. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna see how long I can go, probably until like 11 o'clock, then I'll take my face off. So this is what my face looks like, and I really, really love, love, love the finish of this foundation. Um, with the concealer, because it is kind of creasing a bit, um, I'm gonna see if, if I press the powder into it, maybe if that gives me a better finish, so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning. And yeah, so we'll see how this goes. So I will check in later on. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and yeah, give leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this and what you thought of this foundation. And yeah, so let's see how this um, hyped foundation that the whole of YouTube is loving right now, this affordable foundation. Um, let's see how it performs. So I'll catch you in a couple of hours. Hi everyone, so I'm back and the time is 11.22. So I've almost had, so I've had this foundation on for almost six hours and um, it still looks very, very good indeed. Um, the only thing is I can see a little bit of shine coming through on this side of my nose. Um, I'm holding my camera up so I can't really point but on my right side where I powdered, let me just put the light up a bit so you can see because the lighting in here is quite bad. So on the right side um, it looks basically natural like a satin finish and on this side I can see some oil starting to come through on the corner of my nose. So this is the side where I had the Coty Espan and this is where I just had the LA Girl Pro Matte HD powder thing my jig. Um, yeah, so I've smudged my lipstick a bit and it's worn off, but yeah, I definitely really, really like this foundation. And I also like the fact that um, it doesn't crease too much into my smile lines. So you can see a faint line on my smile line on this side, but it's not as pronounced on this side. So I definitely think the Coty S Bond powder also helps to um, hold your face together. Um, yeah, I definitely, I really, really like how this foundation looks. The only thing is the colour. So I will, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up getting the copper shade or if I'll just mix it with another foundation. Um, actually, I could mix it with my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I mean, these two um, foundations are so blendable and so skin-like. Um, I wonder what, what would happen if I mixed the two together because the cappuccino shade that I have in the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation would be perfect to mix with this um, this shade. I can't even remember the name of the shade I bought in this foundation. But anyway, um, because it's quite a warm, warm tone shade um, and the copper shade is also quite warm. Um, so I feel like if I mix the two together, I'm just going to get the perfect match. But it is looking slightly more olivey than my actual skin tone. Um, yeah, but apart from that, I really, really like this foundation. I feel like you can see a bit more texture on my face, like around my cheek area. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. But anywho, um, yeah, so this side definitely, definitely looks a lot more matte. So I'm going to try the same routine again tomorrow and see how it lasts for a 12 hour day and I will update you then. So also the concealer, I'm sure you can see that it's set into my smile lines, my smile lines. So I, I'm sure you can see the concealer is set into my crease and it has actually cracked as well. So um, it doesn't look terrible but it does make me look a bit older than I actually am. So. I'm not sure how I feel about this concealer. I'm going to set it with a sponge and see if that makes a difference versus setting it with a brush. Um, yeah, and then see. Hopefully it won't make my under eye look too dry because I don't really like that look. But um, it does have a brightening effect and it is medium to full coverage. Um, and the scar on the top of my lip is more or less covered. Like once I cover it with powder um, and everything else, it was more or less covered. So yeah, I really do like how um, this foundation sinks into, into my skin. Um, I will see how it performs again tomorrow on a very long day. But I'm going to be using my Cozy yes Bomb powder, but this is just so you can see what it would look like without the powder. But yeah, 
so um i will catch you tomorrow hi everyone so i'm back and this is day two of wearing the l'oreal 24 hour fresh wear infallible foundation um so i've had it on for 13 plus hours it's now past eight and i put my face on around past seven um so the foundation looks slightly dewy in my t-zone um it's worn off on my jawline because i've had my scarf on obviously it's cold outside and it's slightly cracked in my small lines but again for 13 hours of wear i mean it is doing pretty pretty good um yeah i think i've mentioned that it's slightly dewy in my t-zone and yeah so apart from that I am happy with how it looks. Um, I feel like the concealer could have performed a lot better. Um, it's cracked in my under eye area and the under eye area kind of looks a little bit dry. But apart from that, I really do like how this foundation looks like for the first, almost for the whole day actually. But then obviously my oils are starting to come through. Um, and I feel like it's kind of caked in my nose area a bit kind of. And hair as well yeah um this foundation the only issue i have with this foundation is the fact that it's not full coverage like it says it can be medium to full but i think it's more light to medium um oh and today as well when i applied the foundation i applied it with a brush and for some reason it was applying streaky but the minute i pounced over it with um a sponge it was fine so i feel like um you might want to start with a brush and then go finish with the sponge but i feel like a sponge would eat up a lot of this foundation if you applied the whole thing with the sponge that's the only thing i'm trying to say um and also i said i was going to try the concealer i was going to try um setting the concealer with a sponge as in pressing the powder in rather than lightly setting it with a powder like i did yesterday and it's still creased so yeah i think it's just a creasy concealer Apart from that, I do like how this foundation has worn. I will try it again tomorrow and see. I might mix it with something else, I'm not sure, because of the shade match. But um, yeah, so I like how it looks. This is the end of the day and it looks pretty well. I feel like I could powder over this and it will still look, you know, pretty yeah. decent. So yeah, I'm going to park this little second demo here and I'll try it again tomorrow. And let you, I'll update you on what I decide to try on. I have a feeling I might mix it with another foundation, but we'll see. Yeah, so um, I will catch you tomorrow. Hi everyone. Um, so this is day three of using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. And yeah, so this is what my face looks like at the end of the day. This isn't a four days wear. I put the face, put the face, I put the foundation on my face around three o'clock and the time is now nine o'clock exactly. So I've had this on for six hours. So the only thing I did differently today was that I, in fact, today was more about the concealer, try, just trying to make, just trying to make it work basically. Um, I've tried it twice and it's creased um, quite badly on my under eyes. Even though it has really good coverage, it has creased by the end of the, by the end of the day. Um, so today I've had it on for six hours so far. And what I did differently was that I used my, um, my Primark PS Mineral Powder. Um, so I used that in my Primark video and I've been using that for my under eye area because it's not like the right colour but it has really good coverage and I found that it... Um, held the concealer the Primark concealer that I use hi and I also like it for the brightening effect as well so it's quite it's got really good coverage and um, I thought it held the concealer together so I've been using it in my under eyes um, to set my concealer so I use that and I also use a tiny light dusting of my Cote Yes Bomb powder which I don't tend to use in my under eyes because it is a mattifying powder um, so I feel like it's held it together you can like see where the concealer has gone into my small li small lines into my the lines of my under eyes but it actually hasn't broken up it's just set in there so um i don't mind this i just don't like it when it like cracks and creases and you can see it separating uh, my smile lines aren't too bad just a very faint line this is what my face looks like after six hours and it doesn't look too bad at all it just has a slight glow to it it's not like extremely dewy or anything like that so um i think oh yes there was one thing I did differently. So I was debating. So I was debating as to whether or not I was going to mix it with another foundation. So that's what I decided to do. So I, after I put the foundation on, um, I also had to contour with my, the same Primark foundation stick that I use in Rich Espresso. I also put a little bit of my um, NYX Can't Stop One Stop Foundation in Cappuccino because that's a deep, um, rich colour. Whereas the colour that I chose in this um, Freshwear foundation is quite a yellowy, 
um color obviously it would have been better if it was my skin tone it's not <clears throat> if it was the right shade for me um so i used the cappuccino to balance it out and Mommy. i don't know i feel like it's it's okay um Mommy. i could stand to be a little bit darker but Hi. to be honest trying to see how it blends into my skin it still looks quite yellow but it's not as bad as it did um it didn't look doesn't look as like really yellow as it did yesterday um yeah so i will try it again tomorrow i think i might mix it with one of my other foundations or i'll see but yeah i really like how it looks it's properly matte it is transfer proof so I'm going to try it again tomorrow and I'm not really sure what I mix it with but um, I'll let you know by the end, end of the day. But this is what my face looks like after six hours. I just loved how it looks when I was outside. I did check out myself in the mirror um, when I went in the lift a couple of times and it just looks so blended into my skin. It's insane. So yeah, I definitely love the finish of the foundation and to be honest, I love the finish of both foundations. Um, but yeah, together they're just doing great things yeah and yeah so the only thing i was very worried about was the smile lines cracking and that hasn't really happened there's like the faintest line which is good i don't mind this kind of line if it's like a big indentation then you know then we've got a problem um but yeah i will leave it here and i will catch you tomorrow so if you haven't already guessed this is already this is basically turned into a foundation vlog but i will try it again with something else tomorrow and this is my I want to say this is my third accidental foundation vlog which means i haven't actually planned it but that's what it's turned into so yeah i'll try it with something else again tomorrow and i will check in with you okay hi everyone today is day four of trying out the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation and i mixed it with my nyx constant one stop foundation in the shade cappuccino and this is the finish that I got. So I've had this foundation on for, I put it on at seven as per usual. Today's a working day and the time is about 10, is it 10 minutes past 10 right now? So I've had it on for 13 hours. Um, I did intend to show you what it looked like when I came in um, back from work around seven, just so you can see. And I feel like it's gone slightly oilier since then, but again it's in the same areas which is my the corners of my nose and slightly in my forehead um i want to say the rest of my face is more or less normal um maybe on my cheeks there might be like a slight bit of dewiness but hardly anything I have a spot over there but yeah um yeah so i just wanted to show you what it looked like because i feel like i think yeah yesterday i think i had it on for like was it six hours just to show you what it looked like when i mix it with my nyx um with my constant one stop foundation but now you've seen what it looks like for the whole day and i wish i could have shown you what it looked like for um on the what do you call it wait 12 hours i've just realized seven hours to seven hours is what 12 hours that's 15 hours gosh i'm so tired i've had this foundation on for wait, 15 hours yeah 15 hours yeah 15 hour wear test how about that oh my gosh i just realized um <laughs> I promised I went to school. So I mixed the two together because I wanted to get as close to my skin tone as possible and I feel like I've achieved that. And yeah, they do have a very, very nice skin-like finish and they both promise to be transfer proof, which is great and, and long wearing. So yeah, I feel like those two foundations are basically the best of both worlds. And I will, maybe I'll find something else to mix it in, but if not, I might just pop this little foundation vlog here um because in terms of coloring i don't really feel the need to mix it with something else right now that i'm as far as i can think anyway so if you like this foundation accidental foundation vlog please do give it a massive thumbs up um put a comment down below let me know if you've tried this foundation what you thought of it and like comment and share please do share this video and i will see you in my next video yeah until next time Stay blessed. Bye.